how are you? I cannot complain. I suppose I could. But <laughs> Did I really. catch you? Is this still a good time? Yep, this is perfect. Okay, good. Okay, so how's it going? <laughs> it's going pretty well. Yeah, yeah. For, for a Saturday morning, you know. Yeah, yeah. not so bad. No. So, um, hi. Hi. I, I'm curious about... Um, about you. Okay. And your beliefs. And All right. Did you grow up in Washington? I did. I did. I grew up okay. in, uh, do you know Washington pretty well? Pretty well. Uh, so I grew up on the west side uh, on a place called Whidbey, Whidbey Island. Okay, that's where you live now. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So I grew up okay. here, went through so you... the entire school system, and then... Spent a year in Pullman, go figure. Uh, my, my, yeah, drank my first year of college at Wazoo. And then, <laughs> oh, seriously, yeah. it, was, it was an utter waste of time. But back back then, college was so cheap that, it, yeah. you know, I was like, oh, yeah, I just throw them a check. You know, you could, you could seriously, you could pay for a semester of college with couch cushion money. Uh, and, I remember. Oh, yeah. I think we're about the same age. Maybe. And I went to a, yeah, and I went to a, a big state school, too. Hmm. And, and then so I remember. And then I went to Western until I got thrown okay. out for manufacturing explosives on campus. And what? It's true. Well, you know, there's a lot of uh, reservations oh. over here. I was a big fireworks guy, so okay. I made a lot of fireworks when I was younger. I because I, I grew up. You know, when you grow up on the island, on the islands, there's a lot of beach. You know, and so fireworks right. isn't. You know, there's no restrictions on fireworks. You, know, so you just fire them off into the water. It's not like you know. You have, there's no risk of, of catching you know big forest fire damage, so yeah. I made I was I was pretty good at chemistry, so I made my own fireworks, and I didn't stop when I went to college, <laughs> so which they okay. they kind of frown upon that if if you can imagine. Well, I mean, did you know it was against the rules? Or of anything? course I did, but it, but when you, you did? Yeah, okay. yeah, but when you start when you're I don't know twelve. And you, you, when you're in kind of encouraged by your, your family and neighbors and friends to, to do it. And nobody right. says no. I mean, everybody's, you know, you're being fully funded to do this. Uh, right. It's like, you know, in your cocky, you know, you go to school, and yeah. you're going to get, you're going to get tossed for that eventually. So I was at Western until uh, my senior year, never graduated, which was fine. And then uh, part of my, again, weird story uh part of my community service <laughs> was because it was a federal thing the and you know the back then it was it was way easier it had this happened after 9 11 we wouldn't be speaking now yeah <laughs> i'd be speaking to you like oh, yeah. i've only got three minutes left until i go back to the block uh oh gosh okay. yeah it'd, it'd be awful hopefully you'd be out by now well hopefully i would be yes although i had rivals that, that it took them a long time to get out so anyway, the, the point was, is that part of my community service was teaching, because uh, my mom was a, a career school teacher here down on mm -hmm. Whitby, uh, was teaching kids computers. I was, I was always mm -hmm. a nerd, big, you know, chemistry, you know, math, geeky stuff. Although I wasn't that great at math, to yeah. be perfectly honest. Uh, and during that time, I played a lot of computer games. Uh, not video games mm -hmm. like, like Super Mario or anything, but I played like PC games. And I played this little computer tournament. Uh, the first of its kind, really, a, uh, a worldwide tournament uh, from a, a, it was a pinball game, and I was really good at mm -hmm. pinball on top of that, and I won it. It was a year-long tournament, and mm -hmm. I, I won the thing, and the company out of the producer, not the developer, the developer was out of Japan, but the producer out of Boulder, Colorado called me up and said, hey, how would you like to fly out and interview for a job? And wow. I go, what? They go, well, you know, game game development, game producer. Basically, I was going to be playing video games for a living. And you know, mm -hmm. you know, it's like when you're, tw what was I was like 24, 25, I was, like, I was doing a sous chef gig at a, at a restaurant down here. So I decided mm -hmm. to fly out to Boulder, Colorado, and that's where I spent the next 20 years was uh, wow okay uh, yeah so i played games for the first two or three years of that stint and then boulder colorado if you've ever had the chance to be there it's a it's a beautiful I, place i've gone there once oh yeah well, yeah it's a it's a great place most people it's like oh isn't that place that mork and mindy was filmed it's like well the outside shots <laughs> yes 
uh, small, small world, right? Especially since my sister's name was yeah. Minda. So we caught those jo funny. jokes when I were going, no, it's Mark and Mindy. It's like, that's not, it's Mark and Minda. It's sort of, <laughs> sort of close. <laughs> That's so funny. we, uh, so there was a lot of proprietary software companies out there. Great place to do startup stuff. Uh, also, the place that the whole John Monet Ramsey thing happened. Go figure. Oh my gosh! Yeah, I yeah. To totally didn't do it. And we were <laughs> seriously didn't. I had nothing to do with it. So they lived. They were like two miles away from me. The um, wow. So I jumped uh, onto a time and attendance software company out there and went between that one and another one. And re literally, I, I spent the next 20 years uh, teaching proprietary software to people just all over the mm -hmm. country and some places outside the country. A lot of fun. And then when I was between the – after the whole um, financial crisis thing happened – uh, it wasn't as great out there. And so I jumped around a little bit. Mm -hmm. And then between companies, I got involved in this, which shouldn't have shouldn't have happened. There's no way it should have happened. But I was always, I know you got probably have a follow-up question or two. Um, I was always a conspiracy <laughs> guy. So yeah. I, I always, you know, I, but I knew them for so long that it was just old hat. So I was like going, okay, you know, what, is there anything new? Are you aware of this conspiracy? Or well, everybody's, you, I mean, this, everybody's, this a, conspiracy? everybody's aware of it. You're aware, aware of it. Aware of it. Okay. Yeah, I mean, everyone right, knows right. the term, but no one ever takes it seriously because it's ridiculous, right? There's no way you should look yeah. at this thing with a straight face. And I yeah. one day decided I was going to look at it with a straight face. And when I did, uh -huh. it became a blessing and a curse because yeah. at, at, at one point I'm going, okay, this can't be what I, what really, what, what I'm looking at there. And the other, the other side is if it is, it's, it completely opens your mind up to everything else. And so yeah. I looked, I looked at it in the summer of 2014, took me months and months. It took really, it took me all the way until the beginning of 2015 before I finally decided I was going to go in the in the flat earth direction and, and put my videos out there and say, okay, I, you know, it, the videos are really just a, a series of questions to, to people saying, okay, yeah. here's what yeah. I think it is. Tell me I'm wrong. Shoot this thing down so I can get some sleep and go back to our regularly, I'm sorry, regularly scheduled programming. And yeah. the opposite happened to where here we are. People came and was just, or, so the, pe the response was that people were convinced that the earth was flat instead of them convincing you. Yeah. That yeah. It was, it was, they, everyone, you know, I kept hearing the same things over and over, which was you're on to something. You, you really mm -hmm. may have connected because really um, I, you know, in the three different levels of, of flat earth, you know, the, the connect the dots, the, uh, the scientific experiments and the religious side of it, I'm the connect the dots guy. You know, it's like, mm -hmm. okay, you know, and these dots seem random, right? Well, here, this and here and here. It's a smiley face. And that's what really what I did. And, and instead of people saying, no, that's not a smiley face, everybody was going, oh, yeah, it's totally a smiley face. To where I had mm -hmm. subject matter experts that were calling me. It's like, you know, I specialize in smiley faces. And <laughs> this, mm -hmm. this is exactly, you, know, you you're really, really onto something. And it, I had so much positive reinforcement right out of the gate that mm -hmm. I couldn't even begin to, I mean, yeah, you, like everybody's nervous, you know, when, when you like, kind of like, um, what was the, the thing I came up with? Uh, when you, when you finish a test and you think you've aced it, if you've ever aced a test mm -hmm. and you want to turn it in, <laughs> but you've got that nagging feeling, just, oh, did I, you know, you're not quite mm -hmm. sure you nailed it. And mm -hmm. that's the, how I felt. It's like, okay, I'm pretty sure I got this. But I was uh, kind of, but, you know, but you're nervous. You put it out there and you're waiting. You're just basically holding your breath, waiting for somebody to just destroy it. And, right. it, did, and it didn't happen. So where I mean, now? you were pretty, at that point, you were pretty early in this whole thing. Yeah. Like there weren't a ton there of weren't, other people. There were not a lot of people. The uh, When you did a search, and I know it's a little, a little bit has changed on YouTube because of the adpocalypse recently. Uh, which we can go into later if you want, but oh, the okay. um, but if you typed in flat Earth into YouTube back then, you may have gotten like fifty thousand search results, and yeah. as of really recently, you could type that in now and you'd get nineteen over nineteen million. 
which is a wow. massive uptick, massive to where. What do you think it is? I mean, why made that? Um, why has it gone up? Yeah. The reason is because it resonates. It's not just a normal resonation, meaning when mm -hmm. it, when people see it, it changes their perspective so completely that they get they have all this yeah. extra energy and enthusiasm that they don't know what to do mm -hmm. with it and so they go out and people I mean, i've seen it just countless times to where people will make their own youtube channels it's like people mm -hmm. have never done it before it's like holy smokes i gotta get my camera you know, you know my phone i'm gonna this is my first yeah. youtube channel. they don't do any editing and they not only do they make a youtube channel and make a video they'll make 10 or 15 videos in a row until their enthusiasm finally runs out you know when they get it out of their system and so you multiply that by oh a whole bunch of people and it just yeah. we just kept growing in these big chunks to where um google released their new phone recently I, the google pixel 2 and i knew right mm -hmm. off the bat when when they did it when they they were saying because you know google is basically a search engine right and mm -hmm. They said, you know, they, they started asking questions. The very first question they put in this commercial, you know, it's a national commercial, was the earth is flat, question mark. Because, you know, in the marketing team, it's like, okay, what's the, what are the biggest topics of 2017? What is the most mm. search, searched for thing? Um, mm -hmm. But if you're asking why it resonates, okay, the, there's two big reasons why it resonates. Uh, one, it's easy to understand. The core concept is easy to understand, yeah. which is, look, you know, because it's just shapes. You just take a globe, you flatten it that's easy now you'll mm -hmm. probably have 200 or more follow-up questions that you'll say well what about this and what about this and what about this it's like yeah those are just the details but you get the core concept the other thing is that it's got a positive message of hope aspect to it it's it's not dark like the other conspiracies mm -hmm. you know lots of people you know you can bring up 9 11. i'm not going to go into it too much but lots of people say like, mm -hmm. oh i don't want to talk about that people died and it's really horrible mm -hmm. it's like yeah 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 it's, i get it you know people you don't want to be the wet blanket at a party uh flat earth is not that flat earth has got a real positive aspect to it potentially where it's like yeah it could mm -hmm. be a new golden age if it's handled right there's no guarantee of course and what, what what do you see what do you see as the positive aspect message the positive aspect message is uh well it's it's got a couple different facets but the the first one would be you're not alone you never have been uh -huh. alone uh and i'm, I'm not going to try to define god here you know what i'm mm -hmm. talking to you but that's that's the first aspect which is for anyone that ever felt like they were alone in the universe and we're just you know this this little rock flying through space precariously and could get snuffed out in any second that could not be mm -hmm. any further from the truth we are the opposite this place was built exclusively for you it was it's a very mm -hmm. intimate one you know everybody's on, on, in the same boat literally so mm -hmm. because of that it it changes your your aspect um you know is does that mean it's the handprint of god on the side you know the side of this thing not necessarily but it's a lot closer than we've ever been you know it's it's, so it's one more purposeful it, uh, yeah very very purposeful and because of that mm -hmm. do you if you have uh the uh, uh mythological parent sitting over your shoulder you know, I'm not talking someone that's, you know, just staring at you at all times, but maybe, you know, that parent that's, that's, you know, you know, looking over the top of the newspaper every once in a while from the couch. Do you keep mm -hmm. doing the bad things in, in your life? Now, as a woman, mm -hmm. I know it's a little different, you know, because you know, women generally don't do as many bad things as men. Let's face it. But <laughs> <laughs> men, men, yeah. men are the cause Probably of true. most of the yeah. problems, you know, the, the, yeah. you know, the, what's the the saying you know because people have been saying why do you why do you always take the 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 woman's side in in arguments and mm -hmm. things like that and i'm going um for the same reason that most of the bank tellers are women because statistically mm -hmm. speaking <laughs> they commit a lot less crimes <laughs> they lie mm -hmm. a lot less no it is do is that saying they never make any pro no no of course you know women will cause problems like anyone you know, but the only one I think of note that really could have, you know, caused a lot of damage was Cleopatra. You know, and even mm -hmm. even she, you know, came off looking pretty good, I think, at, at the end of it. Yeah. So what I'm getting, I'm sorry, I went off into the weeds there for a sec. So what, okay. what I'm saying is it, it has a message of hope and it has a message of, yeah. 
uh, community. And and I know it sounds like you know kumbaya that, that whole thing, but it's true. And it's and and yeah. that that's what makes it different from all the other conspiracies. Every other conspiracy has got this dark aspect of yeah. it, which people don't want to look at. This one, and there's a lot of women in this community. There are. That's mm -hmm. it's one of the things that, that people say. How do you know this thing is, is legit and is real? I go because there's women in it. That's that's how I know. Yeah. The fact that you're calling me about this, you know, and all you're right. not. You are not the first. There are you know, lots. I yeah. get lots of phone messages on on my machine, you know, from women, you know, saying, "Hey," because I I still believe in in female intuition, and that women have a built-in BS detector, other than you know, deciding on the wrong guy to marry, which happens time and time again. But that's the whole other thing. <laughs> but other than yeah. that, they really look at this thing and say, "Hey." Uh, you know, this has got a kind of a warm, fuzzy potential feeling to it, and it's, mm -hmm. it's so far I I have not been proven wrong. Yeah, and it does seem like there is this big community, right? That embraces sort of the odd, being sort of an outsider. I mean, being sort of this makes you sort of an outsider. Yes socially in some ways and then you have this but it makes you kind of an insider in this other group yeah it's that cool high school click that you can't put your finger yeah. on you know every once in a while you'll, yeah. you'll get it doesn't happen in every high school but you'll every once in a while get a, a cool click that you can't you can't really put your finger on. it's like what did what what is the common denominator of this group here whatever they are they're they're yeah. interesting and that's what what this is i mean it's a it's a cool little thing because yeah once you get in you're in you're not getting out. Yeah. You, everybody. Yeah. The, but they, I, I saw that you're going to this big conference in like soon. Oh yeah, yeah. Right? Uh, in, in fact, it's three weeks North from Carolina? three weeks from today. Uh, it ends three weeks from today. The uh, yeah, North yeah. Carolina, Raleigh, North Carolina. It's the first conference, first letter conference in the history. It's like two hundred and forty forty one years of this country. Uh, but it's, it's, yeah. yeah. And, and it's not a small thing. I mean, it's sold out quickly. Yeah. And I saw that. And it, it looks like it's going to, like, you're going to meet all these people who you've yep. probably been communicating with. Yeah. I've now I've met some of them, but most of us yeah. have only, have only seen each other through, through Skype or emailed or talked, talked to the phone. But yeah, it's, I mean, it's, yeah. and, and I've done meetups. I've done small meetups. I think I've done six or seven already meetups mm -hmm. in, in different places mm -hmm. canada and seattle and la uh and other people have done uh, different meetups i mean the, just about every major city has had one so far except for like manhattan mm -hmm. but they're grumpy so you know they can take their time <laughs> they are it's this new york manhattan it's like you know la i totally get that new york city that's, right. a, that's a whole right. other animal but but every yeah. one that i've gone to it's just been this 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 cyclical energy building it's like a dynamo where people are just just getting so revved up because they're in a place where you know that they're, they're not getting judged you know they can literally walk right. into the room and they're not nervous for the first time about <clears throat> excuse me about talking about it and it's and you multiply that by uh, you know this thing this thing will have a thousand people before it's over uh you know because there's people yeah. that are showing up that don't have tickets and there's media showing up that don't have press passes. Right. And right. it's going to be, uh, uh, I mean, there's do multiple documentary teams going to this. And different, uh, it, I mean, we don't even know the people, I don't even know the last minute groups that are going to show up yet. But there's going to be a lot of cameras right. there. And it's going to be a circus, I it, bet. It will be. I kind of and a hope. a big party. That, well, yeah, it'll be a big party for sure. Uh, I'm showing up a couple days early, uh, leaving the, the day after. But then again, I, I really have no choice but to leave the day after because I'm hosting the video. In fact, I'll be working on that this afternoon. The video awards show. On the it's the last event of uh, the conference, and we're you know the flat Earth video. Yeah, the flat Earth video. Yeah, the flatties. Uh -huh. The flat Earth video awards show <laughs> where it's true. And it's just, and what's scary is this isn't even our first one. We did the first one in uh, 24. Uh, 16 and we were oh supposed God. to do the second one the beginning of this year and then it was postponed because of the conference but there are a lot of videos I mean, you can imagine there's a lot of content out there I mean heck there's a lot of songs yeah. out there where that, that's yeah. the other aspect you know you want a positive you want to judge something on its positive aspects we've got at least 200 tracks original flat earth songs 
made, you know, by originally, you know, uh, rock and folk and rap and country and take your, take your pick. You know, there's so many cool songs and you're thinking, well, that's kind of interesting. I'm going, no, no, no. Compare that to anything else. Find me a happy folk song about JFK. You know, find me yeah. a, a country song, you know, a nice mellow country song about 9-11. You're never going to find them. And yet we just yeah. keep cranking these things out because it inspires people to uh, to to go out and I mean to to literally sing in some cases. So yeah, it's been interesting. So it's so interesting. Yeah. Um, so are, in terms of like other, because you know, in some ways this is a rejection of science, popular science. Yeah, yeah. that kind of idea. Do right. you reject other? Does it go with a reject? I mean, I've seen different things like, oh, the people who believe in flat Earth also reject, you know, climate no. change, but and some don't and some do. No, 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 no. I'm not. Probably. Yeah, I, I suppose I could lead you down a whole different path and say, oh no, no, I want us to go back to the 1830s. I want us all to be Amish. We should burn the universities down and and kill all the scientists. Yeah. No, 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 no. Yeah. No, no. Are you kidding? I'm I'm talking to you. You're piping through a PC, uh, you know, right now where where the uh, I love science as much as the next guy. Uh, we, you know, yeah, like, you kind of a science. Oh yeah, yeah. No, I'm a I'm a tech I'm a techie guy. I'm I'm a super nerd yeah. when it comes to that. Look, but I but for me, you know, there's there's kind of a fine line. Science it takes leaps of faith like anybody else. Like light bulbs, hey, fantastic. Uh, uh, air conditioning, super convenient. Microwave ovens, yeah. we use them every day. Nobody knows how they work. But but that's just the thing. <laughs> Science will lay claim to something when they don't even understand it. If it's repeatable, they lay claim. It's now under the scientific banner, and that's where I think they take it too far. Uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson, you, you know, the the spokesperson of science, which is unfortunate. Right, there's there's right. a lot of scientists that just hate the guy. Because he doesn't do anything. Yeah. He just walks around in front of a microphone and says, Science is great. Thank you, everybody. Good night. He and is the, very entertaining, however. <laughs> he is he has a he has a wonderful stage presence and that's his role. He's funny. That's yeah. that's what I yeah. to, I totally get. Uh, you know, I, I saw that, you know, yeah. first time I saw him on stage, you know, not live, but you know, in video I was going, oh, Okay, I see. He's got no understudy. That's their problem. Meaning there yeah. if if something happened to him tomorrow uh, there's no one that could walk in and take his place. Uh, but yeah, at the same time, he, he made a statement that just drove me insane, which was science is right whether you believe in it or not. Meaning once science mm -hmm. prove, once science says it's proven, it's proven and it should never be argued ever. And it's like, okay, you know, that, I think mm -hmm. that that may be a little, a little bold to say. It's like, you want to tell me the, mm -hmm. the, the boiling temperature of water at sea level? Yeah, fine. I get that. But I can test that myself, right? That's, that's the mm -hmm. difference here. And that's where flat earth really throws a curveball at science, which is, mm -hmm. we all know that, um, there are things we can test like water burn. Wow. Water burns. No, that's my sister's cooking. Uh, <laughs> water is wet, fire burns, you drop something, it falls to the ground. It appears to be some sort of force that's either pulling it or pushing it down there. Right? We call it gravity arose by any other name, blah, blah, blah. Those are things you can mm -hmm. test right now. When it comes to the shape of the earth, though, this is something you're told. Plain and simple. Right. And I challenge this to 99.99% of the people that are population out there. This is something you are told. You, you, you are seen, you are shown a toy globe in your classroom at six years old. And it stays there, f at least until you get through high school. And that's 12 years I've seen that toy globe in the classroom. Everybody knows what it looks like, right? Mm -hmm. But no right, one right. gets up high enough to actually see it for yourself. So the question is, why were we preaching that for 20, 25 generations? See, eventually, sooner or later, this is where it gets kind of weird. Sooner or later, you got to take the picture, right? You got to show people. It's like, well, it's a globe because you, your technology is getting better and better and better. So the question yeah. is, once you got high enough to take the picture of the earth and you found out it wasn't a globe, do you tell the public? Because you see, the narrative has gone, you know, you're an author. The narrative has gone on a long time. And that's a mm -hmm. lot of rewrite that you have to do. Uh, I equate it to the um, uh, the Catholic Church thing I came up with, which is, let's say the Catholic Church found a, a scroll that said the Virgin Mary's name was actually Susan. 
Are they going to release that to the public? No. No, they're not. They can't. The story, it's too far along. They can't. It's like, look, it's not going to hurt anybody. You know, the Virgin Mary remains intact. We're not going to go with the Susan angle. It's like, well, yeah, but it's Susan. Mm -hmm. It's it's like, you know what? They don't, what they don't know won't hurt them, right? In this Mm -hmm. case, because nobody goes up into space and nobody goes to the outer edge, no one's going to know, right? So we'll just keep this thing. So Mm -hmm. even, even the powers that be that didn't even figure it out until about 1960, once they figured it out, it's like, okay, I mean, what, what would you do? And I know you're a woman. You're like, well, maybe I'd tell them. Maybe you would. But if some but some analyst came to you and said, you know, there's like a 10% chance that the population actually may rise up with pitchforks and torches and burn this place to the ground, would you still take that chance? And uh, what I've learned is the powers that be, and by that I mean men in power, they generally don't roll those dice. They will look at it mm-hmm. and say, you know what? Let's just hold on to this for a while longer. Oh, no, no, no. We'll, we'll tell them eventually. That kind of sounds like the whole UFO thing. We'll tell them eventually. <laughs> We're just not going to tell them right now. We'll figure out when the best time to tell them is. But now mm-hmm. is not that time. We'll just keep this going. It's like, well, yeah, but you already started the space program. Yeah, we'll keep that going too. Yeah, you know, mm-hmm. we'll, we can we can do some things there. I mean, Lord knows we've, we've got the Hollywood techniques to fake just about anything. So mm-hmm. that's kind of where we, uh, you, that's how this, the, how this thing started to where, I'm sorry, I, again, I went off into the weeds. I don't even remember what the original question was. No, that's, no, um, neither. <laughs> I, you know what? I, I would love to spend the day with you. You have like so much in your brain that <laughs> I feel like we need hours. I, I, I have talked for hours. I've done. I know. I, I, I just, you're an, forget the flat earth stuff i mean that's interesting too but you have you're very very interesting as a person <laughs> like you just have you're very articulate and oh, thank you there's I, a, I can see why you're a leader in this you know well and there's so a there, there's I would a love you want to you want to schedule a time and uh i would uh, love to like drive over I, I i can i know it is a long drive but i am totally willing to do that okay what um what do you? What's your schedule like? I will make time for you. No worries there. So whatever, okay. whenever you want. I mean, as long as it's not during the conference. Uh, oh yeah. I, I mean, I, I have time. I have time. The conference. Oh okay. If, okay. If, if, um, if you... Do you have any questions for me? Like. Um. Yeah. Real. Real quick. Which was okay. how? Just yeah. a su- sorry. Su- super quick. How did you um run into me? I, you know what, I actually was looking around on like kind of the flat earth community mm-hmm. and I saw the Whidbey, uh, papers, the Whidbey, you know, the, Whidbey the story yep. with you. Yeah. <clears throat> and I, I thought, well, that's really interesting. You know, just your take on it. Yeah. And then, um, and then I, I just dug around for you and then oh, I okay. started and I was like, oh.